welcome to today's podcast on the channel where i try to mix technology and society top up with ethics and law today i'm going to tackle a subject that sits at the very intersection of these worlds the recent court order requiring open ai the company behind chat gpt to preserve all of its user conversation logs including chats that users thought were deleted and sensitive information processed through its api this is really really mind blowing this is fahad mirza and i welcome you to the channel this move has really sent ripples throughout the ai tech and privacy communities prompting urgent questions about what such a legal precedent means for digital privacy corporate accountability and ultimately the future of artificial intelligence and the way these companies are storing and using our data let's break down what has happened and why this story is capturing so much attention openai as many know operates chat gpt a conversational ai platform used daily by millions for everything from casual brainstorming and coding help to processing confidential business information in addition open ai provides api access to businesses that integrate their technology into products or internal tools often handling highly sensitive or proprietary data recently amid a lawsuit from major news organization over copyright concerns a us court order ordered openai to preserve and segregate all user conversation logs logs that until then could be deleted by users or kept out of the company hands by opting out of data retention the plaintiffs argued that users could be using chat gpt to reproduce paywalled content like news articles and then deleting those chats to erase evidence a suspicion that led the court to insist on full preservation of all conversation data past and present and that is quite interesting as you can imagine and the read through this order is quite interesting and i will drop the link to it in videos description too open ai's response is also quite interesting it has vocally objected to this sweeping order the company argues that the decision was rushed made on the basis of speculation rather than concrete evidence and create significant risks for user privacy from the everyday chat gpt free user to plus and pro subscribers and large enterprises using the api for sensitive businesses or proprietary tasks the mandate now means even chats deleted at a user's request or created in a so called temporary session must be retained against the user's wishes previously users had the ability to delete chat logs individually or entirely purge their open ai account with assurances that their data would be removed from open ai systems now that guarantee is effectively suspended at least until the court order reconsider its stance so it means that all of my problems with my lawn and my neighbor will still be out there for someone to review open ai warns that complying with this order doesn't just disrupt their technical operations or add to engineering overhead it could put them in breach of privacy agreements contracts and international law the company points to their commitment to let user control their data and ethos that at least in spirit is core to their trust many place in their platform so why did the court order uh, came in the first place the concern fundamentally is about possible copyright infringements news organization content that users might use chat gpt to evade paywalls and access copyrighted articles inputting prompts that encourage the ai to deliver content behind subscription barriers then deleting the evidence they argue that open ai retaining only voluntarily saved chat samples might allow the destruction of potential evidence so to prevent this the court order demands total preservation of all logs including those users want erased some legal experts and commentators compare this logic to for example requiring a browser manufacturer to keep a permanent record of all users browsing 
histories on the off chances their software could be used to access protected content. It's a broad net and the implications are profound. Now let's talk about privacy and who's right at what cost. Look, this is where privacy concerns really become acute in my humble opinion. What users type into chat GPT is always trivial, is not always trivial or public facing. Some use it for financial calculations, others for drafting documents containing confidential business strategy, legal arguments, or even deeply personal messages and life details. For business users on the API, this could mean the inadvertent storage of trade secrets, intellectual property, and privileged communications across potentially hundreds of millions of records. Another point of tension lies in the global regulation, chiefly the European Union's General Data Protection Regulation or GDPR. Under GDPR, European users have the right to delete their personal data and control how it's processed. Rights now seemingly in conflict with a judicial order from a US court. OpenAI operating globally could find itself in a rock and a hard place, unable to comply fully with both US court order and EU's law. So this could be a real, real interesting situation. The response, what I have checked on the social media so far is quite, I would say, panicked in some cases. Many users, including privacy advocates and IT professionals, uh, are expressing concerns about the implications that sensitive, even deleted data could eventually be reviewed or uh, they could miss, um, you know, someone in the context of legal disputes. Um, some even think that this could represent a breach of trust, especially for companies who engage with OpenAI under contract terms, promising data deletion after use. I think there should be an increased caution, in my opinion, and because the, those needing privacy should avoid entering sensitive information into the cloud AI platform and the, for businesses to reconsider what data, if any, they send through these tools, that should there, you know, anyway, companies should be very, very concerned and on their toes to make sure they're not giving their sensitive data to these bots. I think that this is another use case for deploying open source AI models and local uh, deployments. Unlike cloud-based AI, local models can offer fuller data ownership and privacy. Uh, but of course, running them would require significant hardware and technical know-how, especially around serving a lot of uh, users. Also, there are always, if you look uh, from the high level, technical debates around anonymization. The question is, can OpenAI really meet the code's requirement by anonymizing logs? Technically, uh, anonymizing large data sets in a way that truly prevents re-identification is really hard, especially when prompts themselves can contain unique identifiers, confidential information, or be paired with metadata like dates and usage patterns. Now, for my loan problem, if one of my neighbor checks it out, complains, uh, how would court know which neighbor is that? Anyway, the court offered OpenAI an option to anonymize the data, yet OpenAI insists that this isn't feasible or risk-free as it appears. So, as we stand at this legal and technological crossroad, the OpenAI case really shines the spotlight on deeper question. How do we balance the rights of individuals to privacy against the needs of courts and copyright holders to investigate potential wrongdoing? How should tech companies prepare for and communicate risks that may undermine their business models or their users' trust? And for users and organizations alike, what, is it, what does it mean to truly own your data in a world where almost everything is connected, cloud-based, and potentially discoverable under the right legal circumstances? We don't have all the answers yet, but what's clear is that the outcome of the dispute will shape out not, not just the future of one company, but how we all think about privacy, intellectual property, and trust in the age of AI. Well, before I let you go, I also want to introduce you to the sponsors of the video, who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling loss with applications in data generation, 
task automation and world simulation and i will drop the link to their website in video's description if you like the podcast please like the video share it and if you haven't already subscribed please do so as it helps thank you for watching